how much of the maths did you actually understand? Who is the best out of the class in applying the maths? And uh, are you better at Sudoku now? You're much better. You must be. What was the last you part of the question? Be are you better at you, you Sudoku be. now? What's that? Are you better at Sudoku now? Am I what? Better at better Sudoku. Sudoku. I, I can't even hear, so no. how can we go to Sudoku? Um, um, no. No. No, <laughs> no we, we had we, we, one day we all thought, oh yeah, we should really be doing crosswords. So we brought in like the quick, quick crossword. There were five of us and it took us five days and we still didn't finish it. <laughs> So no, we're really bad at all of it, and I didn't understand any of the maths. Did you? Don't say you did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that opens up a whole can of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember when we were there, there, we had this specialist who was trying to describe this wonderful machine, Alan Turing. Yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. Was at, the, at Bletchley Park. Yeah, at Bletchley Park. Oh my God, the look on the guy's would... face, it's no, just you, how many brought, thousands of times. Him in. You we brought, brought him, him in. We had all these experts, and they were trying, and we just, listening and then we see this panic in the awful. eyes of everybody we're looking yeah. at each other and it's like this is this is impossible it was it's that like, feeling that i haven't had since school being in maths of just like you sort of feel like you've died <laughs> and there's no way to concentrate at all and it was that and i'm desperately fighting because he was such a nice man you go this is really interesting i should be paying attention and i couldn't I mean, you know, there's a great broad romance to the philosophy of maths and, and physics, which is dramatised these days, which is which is tangible, hopefully, because otherwise yeah. there's no point in explaining it or sharing it with an audience. And I think there are hugely exciting things that, on a base level, everyone can understand. The idea of coding, the idea of programming, the idea that what we use as language can be turned into something universal and could be used in a machine here, China, Russia, mm. you know, New York, wherever. And... And th 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 those things excite me. You know, the fact that my eyelash has carbon in it from a star excites me. I don't necessarily understand everything about how to make an eyelash, but it's <laughs> the broad brushstrokes are very appealing. And I, you know, as far as the machine goes, the machine, the bomb, Christopher and ours, but the bomb in reality at Bletchley Park, that was the moment where I thought, right, no, this, I, I'm, this is very hard. And, and, and the, guy, the guy standing in front said, can you explain it to me? And he just looked at me and went, Right. So <laughs> what we have here, and you, was, you knew it was not just me, not just a stupid actor, but also the fact that every other person isn't necessarily a pure math expert, a mechanical engineer, or a combination of the two. Um, these are incredibly complex machines, breaking down incredibly complex problems at great high level and, 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 and uh, sorry, high pace and high volume. And you know, I, underst I understood a little bit about it. I did understand a little bit. I understood a lot about the Enigma machine, the actual coding machine. Mm -hmm. And, but yeah, if you put an algorithm in front of me now, I, uh, even a quadratic equation would have this press conference go on far too long than it should do. <laughs>